Hey everyone, welcome back. In this video, you will learn how you can integrate WordPress with MailChimp using Fluent Forms MailChimp integration. So guys, if you are running a website on WordPress, you already know how important it is to build and maintain your email list so that you can use the power of email marketing tools like MailChimp. So guys, in this video, I'm going to show you an integration between a plugin of WordPress, which is called Fluent Forms and how you can easily set up an integration between this plugin and MailChimp so that whenever you get a form submission in Fluent Form, the details or the email address of the person who have filled the form will be added as a contact in MailChimp automatically so that you do not have to manually copy the data from the plugin and paste it in the MailChimp. So it is going to drastically improve your productivity and save your valuable time. And we are going to set up this automation without any coding. So without further ado, let's begin. To set up this automation, guys, we are using Pavli Connect, which is an automation and integration tool. And this is the landing page of Pavli. And I'm going to paste the same link in the description as well so that you can sign up for free from here and you will get free automation tasks every month to test and set up your automations. So you can just sign up right now from the given link. After that, you have to sign in and select Pavli Connect product and you will reach the dashboard of Pavli Connect like this. And from here, you have to click on this create workflow button. Here you can give a suitable name to your workflow as well. So I'm giving the name here as WordPress. To MailChimp okay and after giving such names you have to click on this create button and you will see your workflow page like this and on this page you will find these two modules the trigger and the action so here with the help of these two things we can set up this automation so so trigger is that event which is going to start this workflow and the action would be the automated consequence or the response of the trigger so in this use case, guys, uh, getting a form submission using a plugin of WordPress, which, which is called Fluent Forms, will act as a trigger to this workflow. And the action would be to add the sub form submitter as the subscriber in the mailing list of MailChimp. So here you have to search for the plugin, which is called Fluent Forms. Here it is selected. Then you have to select the trigger event as new form submission. All right, and it will give you this URL. This is called as webhook URL guys. And with the help of this and these instructions written here, we are going to create a connection with Fluent Forms plugin. And then we are going to capture the response of this connection. So let's follow the steps written here. I am going to the dashboard of uh, WordPress. This is my WordPress dashboard. And here on the left hand side panel, here I have the settings option. So you have to just click on settings. So under this settings option, you will find this WP webhooks option available right here. So you have to click on WP webhooks. Under here guys, under WP webhooks page, click on send data. And here guys, you will find this fluent form plugin available when you scroll down like this. Here's fluent forms. You have to click on form submitted option. And here you will find this add webhook URL button. Click on it. And here you can give a name to uh, this URL, this connection that you're making. So I'm giving the name as MailChimp. Okay. And here you have to paste the webhook URL that you got here. So just click on copy from here and paste this URL here in this field like this. Then click on add for fluent form submitted. Click on this button and a new webhook web will be added and you can find it here at the last like this from here you have to click on these three dots and then click on settings and here guys you will find this trigger on selected forms option so here these are the forms i have created using fluent form plugin and from the subscriber form i'm getting i'm collecting the details of my website visitors so i'm selecting this form here so when this form is going to be submitted, that is going to trigger the workflow. Okay, select that. And after that, click on save settings. Okay, so you can see settings are getting saved. 
All right, so the settings are saved. Now you can close this window. And here you can see as we have copied the webhook URL here, it started showing waiting for the webhooks response. This means now we have to perform a test submission. Test submission means now we have to fill the form manually, okay, on behalf of any dummy or demo uh, subscriber. And the details of that subscriber will be captured here. And with the help of that data only, we are going to move forward in the automation. So this is my WordPress page uh, where we have added this form. You can see this is the form. Uh, this is the form created with Fluent Form plugin. So you can customize this form according to you. This is just a simple form I have created to show you the demo. So I'm entering the details of a, na a person named as dummy name. <clears throat> Here, let me put the email address as this. Okay, here let me put the phone number and here I'm clicking on submit form. So you can see the form is getting submitted. All right, so the form was submitted. Let's check in our workflow if we got the data captured of this form submission. And here you can see guys, we got the data captured here. And here it is started showing the phone number, the name as uh, name. First name is dummy, last name was name. Okay, this is the email address. And these are all the details. Right. Here's how you can get the test data of form submission. And here we are going to connect with MailChimp to complete the integration. So search for MailChimp in the action step. And in the action event, select uh, add member with custom fields option. Add new member. Okay, then click on connect. From here, select add new connection and here it will ask for the API token key of MailChimp application. So you can just read the instructions to get this key. Let me show you directly how you can reach here uh, to find the key. So this is my uh, MailChimp applications dashboard. And on the left hand side panel, you will find this profile icon on the bottom left hand side. You just have to click here and then click on profile. And under profile page, you will find this extras tab, click on extras, then click on API keys. And here on this page, you can create a new key. Here you can see I have already created many keys. You can also create one by clicking on this create new key button. All right, and then it will ask for the key name. So you can give any name I'm going to give the name as fluent form. Okay. You can give any name as you want and here's how the api key will be generated you just have to copy it and then you have to paste it here in this token field right and here it is asking for the data center's name so to find this you can read the instructions you need to go to your mailchimp accounts url that you will find here in the top search bar so in the top search bar you can see us6.admin.mailchimp.com this is my URL, let me just copy it and let me paste it here. So here you can see if this is the URL, US19 is the data center's name. So accordingly here, my data center's name is US6. So let me remove these extra things. Okay. And US6 is my data center's name. Right. Now after filling the name, you can just click on save and you will be connected with MailChimp application. Right, we are now connected and here it is asking for the audience list. So from here you can select the list that you have created in uh, MailChimp. And here it is asking for the email address, tags and all these fields are opening up here. So guys, we are going to map the data of these fields from this first step. So from the trigger, we got the data from the form submission and we have received these labels. So I'm going to map these labels to map the data here. So just click here on this email address field and here you can see the trigger step is appearing here in the drop down. And when you click on it, you will find all the data right here. From here, just map this email label to map the email. If you want to uh, add any tag, you can add tags here. You can select the status as subscribe, unsubscribe. So this person is subscribed, Select. I'm selecting uh, accordingly. You can fill the interest here. Here you can fill the first name. This is the first name. 
if you have gender details you can put it here right now we do not have any here you can put the last name here you can put the mobile number all right and after filling all this data you can click on save and send test request button to send this data as a new member in MailChimp. So you can check your connection with MailChimp by clicking here and a new contact will be created here. Let me show you the contact section. So this is the contact section guys. These are the contacts I have right now. Let us just check our connection. I'm clicking on save and send test request button. All right, and this is the response we have received. Let us check in the MailChimp application if we got a new contact added. So let me refresh the contact page. And here you can see guys, we got a new contact added here with the same email address, dummy name, mobile number. And this is the same data I have mapped here. You can see dummy name. Okay. And the same contact got added here like this. So this is how it is going to work. So we are done making the connections and the set the automation is set up now after setting up you have to set up it only once guys after that you don't do not even have to open this workflow it will run in the background and in real time whenever you are going to get any form submission using your website's fluent form the persons are going to be added inside mailchimp's mailing list automatically and guys you can use this workflow as well as i'm going to paste the link of the same workflow in the description you can clone it in your own free public connect account and start using this automation instantly guys thank you so much for watching our video and please please let us know how our automation ideas are helping you in the comment section and if you have any queries related to this application please ask your queries from this forum link and do check the pricing of this application from this link and guys, we are open to ideas. If you want us that we should make videos on other aspects of your business, please do let us know in the comment section. And if you like our work, please subscribe to our channel.